welcome to raw online teaching program so today's uh, topic of discussion is going to be approach to hematuria so before moving on to how to approach a child with hematuria we need to know certain definitions in the context so what is hematuria and when it is called as clinically significant so hematuria is defined as persistent presence of more than 5 rbcs per hypor field in an uncentrifuged urine sample so this need not be always uh, clinically significant because this approximate of 5 rbcs per high power field uh, can be seen in uh, uh, 4 to 6 percent of normal school aged children also okay so approximately 4 to 6 percent of normal school aged children will have this rbcs in the uncentrifuged urine sample even nelson says in a normal child it is normal that more than 5 lakh rbcs 5 lakh rbcs per microliter is seen in the urine sample and even this count increases when the child is having fever or it may be precipitated after following an exercise so these are all normal phenomenon okay so how it is been detected it is commonly detected by the commercially available dipstick which is very sensitive and capable of detecting even 3 to 5 rbcs per high power field of an uncentrifuged urine sample that is called as chem strip or the boringer's mannheim strip okay so when it is considered as a clinically significant hematuria so it is uh, when the rbcs are about 10 to 50 rbcs per microliter it may suggest there is some underlying pathology but when it is considered clinically significant is when it is more than 50 rbcs per high power field so hematuria by definition it is presence of more than 5 rbcs per high power field is considered as hematuria it becomes clinically significant when it is more than 50 rbcs per high power field so this is the definition so moving on to another entity which is called red urine without rbcs so uh, the color of the urine will be red due to some other constituents present in the urine but there is no rbcs so that condition is called as red urine without rbcs again uh, in this context it is again uh, divided into two that is whether it is heme positive or heme negative okay that heme positive and heme negative means it depends upon the presence of pigment either hemoglobin or myoglobin but you note that there is no rbcs in the urine so only the color of the urine will be red so in heme positive hemoglobin pigment is present in the urine in case of acute or chronic hemolysis so in conditions which causes acute or chronic hemolysis either because of hematological conditions or because of any acute infections or viral etiologies wherever there is a possibility of hemolysis you could uh, detect uh, hemoglobin pigment in the urine uh, which results in red urine so this is uh, due to the hemoglobin myoglobin can be precipitated in the urine sample following extensive skeletal muscle injury that is rhabdomyolysis so in this condition you can see myoglobin pigment causing red color urine okay this is under heme positive causes regarding heme negative causes of uh, that is uh, there is no pigment uh, causing red color that is hemoglobin or myoglobin but still the urine is red in color this may be due to multiple factors like because of any uh, food substances like for example beetroots blackberries all those uh, contains a dye uh, and also food dyes artificial food dyes which produces red color urine and also drugs so the commonly used drugs for in pediatric conditions like salicylates uh, att drug that is rifampicin anti malarial chloroquine and iron chelating agent tesfloxacin so these are the drugs which causes slightly uh, reddish orange urine so this is because of the 
drugs and sometimes due to the metabolites present in the uh, urine which causes red color that is mostly homogentistic acid because of porphyrins present in the urine in case of porphyrinureas or melanin pigment due to the melanin pigments uh, or meth hemoglobin so in all these things the metabolites that causes red color urine so these are all the conditions where you can get uh, red colored urine uh, which contains which doesn't contain hemoglobin or myoglobin but because of certain dyes or drug induced or metabolites that causes red colored urine without rbc's so this is one entity